Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. We are in, as I just posted a short about this topic, we are in the second to last month of the year. We are just, we have just entered the month of Av. And we know that the last month of the year, Elul, Av has the Rosh Tevas Elul, that the formula to that word is Elul Ba, means Elul is coming. So we are in the second to last month of the year. We know the last month of the year, Elul, is the month where we really focus on returning to God on improving our relationship with God, on fixing our mistakes, going over the whole year and making sure where did I fall, where did I do good, how could I be better, how could I fix this, how can I focus, how could I be proud of myself, where should I be proud of myself, you know? That's the month of Elul where we do deep reflection and we realize that we could be better and where, and we try to figure out where it is we could be better. But let me ask you something, guys. That's the last month of the year, but we're in the second month, second to last month of the year. Do you think, should we wait till next month to start? And wait, ah, till the last second, let's start fi fo fixing ourselves now? Or should we get an early start? The second to last month of the year, it's already pretty late in the year. I personally think we should start now because, any, like anything in life, it's not good to push things to the last minute. If you can start early, you really should, and it'll only make things easier and more effective for you, and how much more so in spiritual matters. So I think that we all... We should look at ourselves and say, how could I be better? How could I fix myself for the upcoming new year? Because Rosh Hashanah is coming, the new year is coming, a new light is being revealed into the world. How could I try to bring the Mashiach before the end of this year even? So that's what each person has to do in their own lives. Look at themselves and see how they can prove themselves. And we should understand that God knows exactly what we've done. Nothing is hidden from Him. Therefore, we should naturally this just cause us a bit of shame. And be ashamed of the negative things we did, but to be hopeful that we could fix them and turn the darkness into light. That's really the step of Shuba, that we are embarrassed of what we've, did, what we've done wrong. And it does hurt us and we're broken by what we've done wrong. But that brokenness is not forever. We take that, that, negative, that, that negative energy and we transform it to positive. And we say, yes, I made a mistake, but I'm going to make this mistake. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to turn this mistake into a positive thing because I'm going to learn from it. I'm going to get closer to God, to God as a result of it. I'm never going to do that sin again. And in fact, I'm going to help others stay away from it also. That's how we turn negativity into positivity. And that is only done through tshuva. This is where a bal tshuva is even higher than a tzaddik, than a righteous, perfect person, because a bal tshuva can turn darkness into light. Okay, my dear friends, this is something, let's start now with the second to last month of the year. Let's get a head start. Tisha B'Av is in a few days where we mourn over the, over the destruction of the, of the temple, but we know, we hope, that the third temple is going to be built in, at any moment now. So we're very excited, and we know that the darkness is only for the purpose to, to be transformed into light. Let's do a deep self-reflection and focus on how we can get closer to God Almighty, who is conscious, who is with us, and is more conscious of us than we are even of ourselves. God bless you all. May we take this into our hearts and may the Mashiach come immediately. Immediately, Like, comment, share, subscribe. Check us out below.